Okay, we need just two uh, two chords for this song. First one is A minor. I'm going to play it as a bar chord at the fifth fret. Okay, but to try and sort of jazz it up a bit and to put like a feel uh, as if it's got like a double bass in, I'm going to play an alternating bass line. So it's going to go. Okay, one and two and three and four. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing the A on the fifth fret and strum and then move my finger across my which is a bar so I'm getting an open E string going yeah, right at the bottom so it's going one and two and three and four and okay so that's the pattern that I want on the A minor chord the second chord that we need is E7 I'm playing this E7 here this is like a C7 shape which is moved up to the seventh fret Okay, and this one, uh, the root note is on the A string of the 7th fret, and then I'm hopping this 3rd finger across onto the bottom of the thick E string uh, to get a B, uh, which is also on the 7th fret. So the pattern here is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... Okay, about the structure of the song, it is an 8-bar um, repeat. And we've got three bars on A minor, four bars on E7, and then back to A minor just for one bar, and then we start again. So um, let's have a go at that. Now I'll count it, I'll tell you what. One, two, three, four, one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four. Okay, so on the last um, on the last bar, I just sort of muted it and just uh, left a gap for the for, for that bar. So uh, let's try that again. And that's about it. And again, I have to excuse for my uh, my singing on, on that one. It's a brilliant uh, chord change, my favourite chord change really. Sort of minor to to that dominant seventh, A minor to E seven. <laughs>